So in this word problem, we're asked to we're told that the sum of a number and its reciprocal is 8.8.125. .8 and we want to know what numbers satisfy this scenario. And so remember, if we're going to let x represent the number, and we can write this as x over 1, then the reciprocal of x is 1 over x. And so we're going to let 1 over x represent the reciprocal of the first number. And we're told that the sum of the number and its reciprocal is, is equal to 8.125. So what we're going to now do is, this is kind of messy the way, way this is written, and mostly because of this 1 over x. And so we're going to get rid of that 1 over x, and the only way we can change this so that it's not in fraction form is multiply by the denominator. So we're going to multiply everything in the equation by x in order to get rid of this uh, rational expression. So when we multiply everything by x, we get then x squared, which is x times x is x squared. x times 1 over x is equal to 1 because the x's cancel out. And x times 8.125 is equal to 8.125x. So now we're going to rearrange this so that it's in our typical quadratic equation form. So we're going to subtract 8.125 from both sides. So our quadratic equation is x squared minus 8.125x plus 1 equals 0. Now, we could, if you're um, comfortable with uh, your number sense, you might be able to factor this. You might see the answer right now. But most people probably would have difficulties factoring this. So what we're going to do is instead use the quadratic formula in order to solve this problem. So here we have... Um, our quadratic formula, and we're going to identify a, b, and c. So a is 1, the coefficient on the x term. b is 0 decimal 825, uh, sorry, negative uh, 8 decimal 125, and c is 1. And so now what we're going to do is sub into our quadratic formula, and I'm just including an intermediate step. I wouldn't include this, and I tell my students not to do all the writing out of all these numbers, that I want you to do most of the work on the calculator. But there are two possible values of x, and one is where you add the square root of the discriminant, and the other is where you subtract the square root of the discriminant. And in the case where you add, you get x equals 8. So when uh, we consider this uh, situation where we're adding, x equals 8. And the reciprocal of 8 is 1 8th. And 1 8th, recall, is 0 decimal 125. And so now, if we consider the case where we subtract the square root of the discriminant, then x comes out to be 0 decimal 125. And the reciprocal of that is 1 over 0 decimal 125, um, which is 8. And in both cases, then, uh, the sum you can see is going to be 8 decimal 125, so x plus uh, the reciprocal here. So 8 plus its reciprocal is 8 decimal 125. And if x is 1, uh, 1 eighth or 0 decimal 125, the reciprocal is 8, and the sum again is equal to 8.125. So that means that the numbers that satisfy this scenario are 8 and 1 eighth.